Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to another one of my mod installation tutorials. The mod that I'm going to be showing you how to install today is Industrial Craft version 1.106. It's for Minecraft 1.3.2, and required for installing this, you're going to need Minecraft Forge Universal 4.1.2.265. Now this was the uh, most recent version about two days ago, so they may have a newer version. If they do, Try that one first, but if that doesn't work, then try this one that I have right here. So I'm going to show you how to install these two two different ways. One using the usual, you know, dot Minecraft for shortcut, go to the bin, do all that fun stuff. And then the other way that I'm going to show you is with MultiMC, a program that allows you to manage your different instances of Minecraft and, uh, you know, manage all your mods and whatnot. It's very awesome, but I'll show you that uh, soon. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself a vanilla copy of uh, Minecraft. So basically, you need a brand new .minecraft folder. What you're going to do is if there's a, a .minecraft folder in your roaming folder, the way that you find this is by typing the Windows key. If you're on Windows, you type percent app data, percent do that, press enter, and it brings you to your roaming folder. I already had it up, so I think that's just what it did. Uh, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch Minecraft after you've, you've deleted your mine, .minecraft folder. Sorry, And you're going to log in. You're going to do all that fun stuff. Oh, okay, that didn't work. There we go. Remember password. You're going to log in, and this will download all the packages. It'll download a Minecraft.jar and create its own .minecraft folder. That way you can be 100% sure that you have a brand new version of 1.3.2. You can see that another thing I did is I made a vanilla copy right here and I just put it into a folder. Um, but I just figured I would show you this way. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on your .minecraft folder, you're going to click on bin, you're going to right click on minecraft.jar and you're going to say open with winrar archiver. This is going to bring up all the files that currently make up the minecraft.jar and uh, it's a lot of stuff. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to delete the made int folder. So you click on it, press delete, press yes, and you should no longer see it. If you still see the made int folder, you did something wrong, and you have to try again. Um, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to double click on Minecraft Forge. Make sure you have Minecraft Forge Universal 4.1.2265. Make sure you download Universal. Do not download the source because that won't help you any. You're going to copy and paste everything inside this folder, inside the zip file, into your Minecraft.jar. So everything from CBW folder all the way down to YU.class. You could also press Control A and then I'll get everything. But I want to show you that you know you're selecting everything pretty much. Then you just click and drag into your Minecraft.jar. You're going to click OK and everything should be in there. So now you're going to exit out of that, and you're going to exit out of that, and you're going to go ahead, open Minecraft. That's odd. I don't know what happened there. But Ford Model Loader is going to set up. It's going to load. You're going to get the Mojang screen. And then once this loads up, and you see that everything is working, you see Minecraft Forge, you see the version, you see two mods loaded, you're going to quit game. Now what you have to do is you have to install... Industrial Craft. This is very simple. You simply open up the mods folder, click on Industrial Craft, and copy and paste it inside that mod folder. Alright, so now you have Industrial Craft 2 version 1.106.jar, make sure it's the jar file that you download, in your mods folder. Don't put it into the core mods, put it into the mods. So now when you open up Minecraft again, I'm going to log in. It's going to do all that. It's going to set everything up. I'm going to go ahead and launch a single player world, that way you guys can see that everything is installed correctly because you should be able to see the Industrial Craft 2 items in my creative inventory. Let's go ahead and let it build terrain, then we'll go into our inventory and take a look at things. Alright, you can see that we have some uranium blocks, reactor chambers, high voltage transformers, all that fun stuff that comes with Industrial Craft 2, and uh, it's all pretty awesome. So you can see that we installed it correctly. Now, let's go ahead and see how to install it using MultiMC. To do this, you're going to launch MultiMC. Um, I should download it and install it, but for just 
being quick, I'm going to use this version. Uh, there's a more up-to-date version. It should be the same, though. So you're going to click Add a New Instance right here. You're going to name it. I'm going to name it Industrial Craft. If I could spell correctly. There we go. So now you have a new instance named Industrial Craft. You're going to right-click on that, and you're going to click Edit Mods. All right. So now you have Jar Mods, Core Mods. In the Jar Mods, you're going to put Minecraft Forge. Make sure it's the universal zip, same version that I have. And then in the Mods folder, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click and drag Industrial Craft 2. You should see mod name Industrial Craft 2, version 1.0, or 1.106. You're going to close out of that, and then you go ahead and click Play, log in, do all that fun stuff. You do need Minecraft Premium account in order to do this. It will not work if you are not premium. Um, so if you do have like a hacked client or a cracked client or whatever it is, I don't think I'll be able to help you. I'm sorry. So now you should see three mods loaded. You can see Industrial Craft 2 right there. We're going to go ahead, we're going to create a new world in creative mode. I'm going to show you that everything does work. After it loads up, of course. Alright, so we are in a world. We go into our inventory, and we should see a whole bunch of Industrial Craft 2 stuff. We have the rubber tree for that, saplings, nukes, nuclear reactors, uranium blocks, copper blocks, tin blocks, bronze blocks, all that fun stuff, and everything's working. So, awesome. We did it. So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Just click and drag a few things, and launch Minecraft, and you're ready to go. If you do have any questions, go ahead and post a comment in the comments section. If it's not working and your question is, why isn't this working, I suggest looking into the description because I'll have a video showing you how to send it an error report. So what you have to do is you have to find the error report, and then you have to copy and paste it in the YouTube private message. Then you have to send it to me, and I'll look over it and see what I can do for you. So if you post a comment in the comments section saying, this is not working, I'm probably just going to ignore your comment. You have to send me a YouTube private message because private message because saying it doesn't work doesn't help me and it doesn't help you. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, again, send me messages, whatever. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, be sure to check out my channel so you can see more uh, installation tutorials. I'll be having some mod spotlights up pretty soon. So stick around for that. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.